my fellow white people. There are a few terms that I feel need some clarification. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is the name of a movement that fights against violence targeted at people of color and is also the slogan of said movement. It began in 2013 in response to the acquittal of George Zimmerman, a civilian who shot and killed Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager. Black Lives Matter fights for social justice reform in a society where people of color are more likely to be hurt or killed without provocation by police and civilians who will then go unpunished. The specific words, Black Lives Matter, are not meant to suggest that only Black Lives Matter. They are meant to remind people, in a climate where this very basic fact seems to have been forgotten, that, like everyone else's, Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. This is a term that has been adopted as a response to and a correction of the phrase Black Lives Matter. It interprets the latter phrase as a statement that Black Lives Matter more than other people's, and it refutes the intended purpose of the Black Lives Matter movement. Kind of deliberately. All Lives Matter is an overly defensive response by non-blacks who feel that they are under attack because they do not understand that it's not always about you. They seem to think that Black Lives Matter is an argument against white people, when in actuality, it is simply an argument for black people. And when you use the phrase, all lives matter, you are rebutting the argument that black people's lives need to stop being undervalued. If you have used the phrase, all lives matter, without realizing that that is its connotation, you are forgiven. Now stop using it. White privilege. This is a term that many white people take offense to because they think it assumes that they are rich, or high status, or that they possess some form of political or corporate power. That is not at all what it means. I have none of those things, and am in fact currently unemployed, but I still have white privilege. White privilege simply means that you live your life without the hindrances, discriminations, or dangers that people of color face, such as unequal pay, unequal protection under the law, unequal job or educational opportunities, or any other form of inequality based solely on their ethnicity being other than white. It doesn't mean that you don't deal with your own form of discrimination. It doesn't mean that you don't have problems. It doesn't mean that your problems aren't legitimate. It simply means that you don't have those specific problems. You can be poor, homeless, sick, and on fire, and you're still not going to be shot for being black. White privilege isn't something you need to feel ashamed of, unless you're using it against people of color. Sidebar, having the opportunity to help people of color and not using it is acting against people of color. Defund the police. First and foremost, defund the police in no way means abolish the police or give way to anarchy. This is a prime example of how when you hear a mantra or slogan that elicits a strong emotional reaction in you, you should immediately seek to find out what the argument behind that slogan is. Defund the police is a two-part argument. The first part is that we need to look at municipal funding and reallocate some of the spending to organizations that help the community in ways the police can't and shouldn't be expected to, including schools, housing, hospitals, mental health care, fire departments, and homeless shelters. Here's a very easy example. If someone is without a home and they have some place, like a homeless shelter, where they can reliably fulfill their most basic human needs, such as eating, they won't need to steal food, and the police won't need to be called in for anything. The second part of the argument is that the system of law enforcement is so broken that the only way to fix it is to completely rebuild it with more transparency, more accountability, a de-emphasis on violence as a first resort, training in de-escalation, and not the least of all, the weeding out of institutional bigotry and racism. In the simplest terms, the point of defund the police isn't to get rid of the police. It's to make the police better. I hope this has been helpful to you.